And welcome to Learning from Leaders, your host, Patrick Dewar, Dewar Success Systems. I'm so thankful for you listening tonight. Uh, we're going to be talking about how to market without money. In fact, that's what this show is really all about. Who should be watching this show? That's a big question that I know a lot of people are probably asking. What would Patrick Dewar have to offer you as a, a watcher of this TV show? Well, entrepreneurs or home-based business owners really should be watching. And the reason is, is that I'm going to be teaching tools and techniques that will help you market without money or market with less money than you ever thought possible. So much of what we're going to do in this show is interview guests and leaders from around the country that are going to teach you tools and techniques and that they're using in their business. I'm going to avoid as much as possible the whole concept of theory. I want to bring to you the ideas and tools that can help you grow your business right now. So when we talk about learning from leaders, we're talking about leaders in business, guys that are earning a million dollars a year or more in their business. I think that's a good start. Um, and then also um, business owners, in the, in the, not just in the Metroplex, but throughout the nation, that are doing something significant and different in their field that makes them unique and special. Learning from leaders is really for salespeople and managers of salespeople that want to know how to market in this web 2.0 world that we're going into. I mean, how many of us have been barraged with uh, everything from Facebook to LinkedIn to MySpace to, to Twitter? And, and for a lot of us, we're already working so many hours a week that the idea of sitting online for any length of time after hours is not real appealing, and yet there are millions of people that are in that arena. One of the things that you'll find is in, in, in Facebook, there's like 30 million people that are on Facebook, which is unreal. But MySpace has like 10 times that many. And for a lot of entrepreneurs out there, a lot of business owners, we're trying to figure out how to, to, to do it right. See, when, when I was growing up in the sales world, when I was in my tw 20s and 30s, the way we would sell was we actually went door to door. What a novel idea. Today, we, we'd think somebody that was dropping in unexpectedly was, was uh, kind of a strange intruder. And yet, that's something that we've kind of lost something to. And we want to make sure that we're bringing the tools and techniques and ways of helping you grow your business in a real dramatic way to you, the business owner, the salesperson, and the manager, and the entrepreneur. One of the things that uh, we also see in today is a lot of people have been laid off or are in transition. That's kind of the buzzword now is transition. Well, that's another area where a lot of people are, have been laid off from industries that have so severely downsized that the concept of uh, getting back into that area is almost unthinkable because the market is so saturated. If that's the case, then um, you guys need to look at what can you do to raise some revenue in this transition time period. And we'll be teaching things about that as well. You'll notice that I've, I've got a chair next to me. One of the things that I want to make sure is that you know that that chair is available for leaders in uh, throughout the country. Uh, I actually will be bringing guests on the show that I've met from the audience, uh, from my audience out there. So if you're interested in being a guest on the, on the show, then email me. And you'll email me, and I'll give my email a little later in the show, or it'll be across the, the bottom at some point. Just make sure you write it down and you email me why you'd want to be on the show. One of the things that I'm real excited about, though, not only in, in being able to interview some of the best minds in the, in the country, is bringing to you my own experience. And you might be asking, well, who's Patrick Dewar? Well, speaker, author, radio show host, and uh, mastermind developer in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. That's been some of my past. But really, I started speaking about 10 years ago as a, um, after I saw this little interview-like thing on uh, at a, a, a weekend called The Road Adventure. It's a, a multi-weekend uh, seminar, kind of like Dr. Phil on steroids. 
So with that, I, I had this little spiritual gifts or internal gifts test that I took. And it, it, it just showed me that teaching was my gift. Well, I believe that your gift makes a place for you. And so I just began to try it out. And I didn't think I was smart enough to be a teacher, quite honestly. I might be a lot like some of you thinking I couldn't sit in that chair because I wouldn't know what to say. You know, the funny thing was is that once you begin to use the gift that's in you, it really does open doors for you in a massive way. I was really surprised, in fact, that uh, I had loved to, to do accelerated learning. I'd listened to uh, the, the Bible so many times that it just was absurd. Um, and, and I studied church history. I just, I just loved it. I ate it like truffles. And so I went to a Bible study, and I just said, hey, look, I, uh, if you guys ever need a, a Sunday school teacher, um, I'll always have a lesson plan prepared, so just let me know. And they said, well, okay, how about Sunday? <laughs> and my eyes got, like, really big, and I'm like, oh, my God, uh, okay, I'll, I'll give it a whirl. And so I stepped up, and I began to teach 10 people, and that group grew to over 100. I began to speak all over the Metroplex in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Uh, within a year, I was a director in the Road Adventure and was for almost 10 years now that I, was, that I was there. And then what began to happen after that, after the first few years, is that I really realized that my passion was teaching. I wanted to do it more than anything. Uh, I was in what I call Dilbertville. A lot of you may have been there before. It's cubicles and lots of lots of people in the corporate world. Well, if that's your story, then you can really relate to. It wasn't that satisfying. I would write an order for a hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment. Uh, it was uh, electronics equipment, and it was it was fun. It was good, but I, I could spend twenty minutes. Teaching somebody how to work in their walk in their purpose and their passion, and like that, their life would change. And the ether, that oh my god moment that came from that was so invigorating, so thrilling, so over the top that I knew I wanted to do that every day. I'd come back from a three day workshop that I was directing with so much energy. Eleven thirty at night, my wife would be going, "Would you shut up?" <laughs> but I was so charged because I'd seen so many things happen that were dramatic and dynamic in the way that people were being changed. So what I, what I did after that is I, I remember I went to um, a, an event where I, somebody asked for a sample of some of my material, and I had a little short DVD of some of my work. So I, I sent it over to this organization, and <laughs> it, I got an an email and a contract back from the next the next day from a relatively um, unknown sales guy named Zig Ziglar. <laughs> I was blown away. I thought, you know, Zig Ziglar, my bio, yeah, I'll take it. And the reason is is that um, they were looking for people they could certify to present Zig's work around the country. I worked with Zig for about a year. It was a great experience. Zig is everything that he that you think he is on TV. If you think he's a good guy, because he is. Um, He's all of that and more. And I, I worked with him, and, and it was great. And then I went on to work with uh, other marketing greats like Dan Kennedy and some of the others out there, building a number of things. Um, eight networking groups in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, four mastermind groups. Um, I, I literally went on to, to start a radio show. And, uh, and I've done over 90 radio shows just in the last few years, interviewing leaders from all across the country, looking for tips and tools that could make the difference in your life as a listener. So when we talk about this stuff, it's not, again, it's not theory. It's getting to sit in the seat and learn and really be able to um, share tools and techniques to uh, the audience throughout the country. Um, and if you ever, if you did want to look at or listen to some of the old shows, I've picked some of the best ones and put them on betterbizradio.com. So it's just www.betterbizradio.com.